what we see right now is that globalization is not merely an economic success story, but puts enormous pressures on the single countries and on entities like Europe, and that the recipes of the past are not fit to solve the problems of today. And as the famous philosopher Kant once said, the necessity to act uh, goes beyond the ability to think. We are now in a situation where we need real leadership, um, also in situations where we have a lack of information. So what we need is leadership instead of management. That was perhaps the success story of globalization during the last 10 to 20 years. Now we need real leadership in this crisis situation. What we have right now is this large rescue umbrella for the Eurozone, but that's some kind of a medicine for the very moment. It doesn't solve the problems, the underlying problems at all. We have a European Union, we have a Eurozone, we have no coordinated budgetary actions within Europe, and we have, let's say, almost failing states in Europe. Uh, look at the government crisis in Ireland, look at the government crisis in Italy, look at the government crisis in Belgium. So we have entities which can hardly be governed and are now in a situation that they should decide on a European level uh, about a huge problem. So uh, we have a tremendous system crisis in the very moment and we have to change the system. Uh, a rescue umbrella uh, for the financial markets isn't sufficient at all. I have serious doubts whether we will have grand strategies anymore. Uh, what we see right now is that little entities are much more successful than the grand and vast and huge entities. You see it on the stated level. Um, the answer uh, during the last 10 or 20 years for problems was always to make an even greater and grander organization, like the reaction to have a Eurozone um, as a response to the globalization and the international uh, financial markets. And the re reaction of companies quite often was to consolidate, to build even up larger companies. And what we now see is that little players or formerly little players like Google or WikiLeaks are really in a position to endanger and, and attack huge um, entities. So uh, I think especially the huge entities have to think about how can we have a setup which is flexible enough, fast enough, dynamic enough to react to these little uh, important growing and very, very fast players we see or have seen during the, the last um, five to ten years occurring.